Hi, my name is Jeff Backus. I'm a safety and training instructor here at Pierce Transit, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do a Pierce Transit pre-trip, which is required every time we take a coach from the lot. Once you get in the seat, um, what you want to do is look at all of your switches. Anything that's drawing power, any lights, our interior lights, fans, heater, defroster, make sure they're in the off position before you start the coach. So everything looks good here. So I'm going to go ahead and not a bad idea to always check to make sure the parking brake is set. I'm going to go ahead and go to day run and let the bus get synced up here. It has three clicks that it goes through. And once that is complete, we can go ahead and start the coach by depressing the start button. Let the coach get started. And once you get it started, you can go ahead and go to night run. You can always tell that you have your lights on when your dash lights are on. Each bus is a little bit different. The switches will be in slightly different places, but pretty much every bus does the same thing. So you just have to look at what the switches are, read what they are, and you want to have it done in a, a logical order. What I mean is you don't want to go adjusting your mirrors, then go check the fire extinguisher, anything like that. Just a logical order. So I like to start in the back here and just work my way around the dash. So in this particular coach, air valve is here. So we want to get air to our doors. We do have a video a recording light should be flashing green. This one is. If it's flashing red, then you would have to have the coach go to the BSR lane. Um, you wouldn't want to take the coach that way. This ha also has a re adjustable foot pedals here on this coach here. Um, so to operate that, the parking brake does have to be set vehicle in neutral and the coach running. As we go up here through our switches, we see a chain deployment switch. We don't need that today. We're going to do that in a separate video. We do have a rear door switch. I'm going to leave it in this position now. I'll check my doors in a little bit. Mirror heater. If the mirrors are iced up or got a lot of rain on them, you can put your mirror heater on. Basically, I'm going through and checking all my switches, make sure they work. I got my four ways on here, all of my indicator lights are up here. That's working. We've got a fast idle. Speed up our building up our air a little bit by putting on the fast idle. Got our chime. I'm going to leave it in the on position. We'll check that a little bit later. Now we can go ahead and turn our interior lights on. Make sure those are all working good and they look good. Uh, make sure your vehicle is in neutral still. And then I'm just going to work my way across the dash here. We'll work on our gauges a little bit after we get our air built up. So we have driver booster fan up here. There we have our panel lights. We want to have those on where it's comfortable, not too bright, not too dim. Here's our washer and windshield wipers. I'll test those. Make sure we got washer fluid. That looks good. This is our climate control on this particular coach, and I'm going to just, for this per demonstration, I'm just going to leave it off because it does make a lot of noise. But you would just adjust however. If it's hot, out. Leave it on cool. If it's cold, put it on hot. Okay, so washers are working good. This is your heater defroster up front. This is, uh, this is for passenger heat and cooling. This is for you. So I'm going to test that. Looks good up there. Looks good up there. Look at all of our gauges. We do have auxiliary fans here. Those are working and they're placed well. This is our front kneel. We're going to do our kneeler and our wheelchair ramp once we get all our air built up. This is how we set our header sign here. We got a destination A and a B. And what I'm going to do is just set destination A for training bus. 8148, enter and it'll change to training bus. And you want to do that before you do your exterior pre-trip to make sure that the header signs are all working on the exterior of the coach. Okay, you also want to be checking your, your sun visors. You never know when the sun might come out. You want to want those working. These are working. You want to know how to operate them. Since we're up here, we might as well go ahead and log on. So what I'm going to do is push log on. It likes you to do it twice for some reason. And I'll put my badge number in here. Eight, seven, six. We'll scroll down here and we'll put a training number in here. Seven, seven, one, zero, five. Then you hit enter and look at the information. If everything is correct, you push yes. And then it goes up here, it's saying logging on. 
now it says logged on so we're logged on good to go there okay once we log on to a, here we'll go ahead and check all information our driver display unit make sure our run number and everything is correct which it is in this case what we're going to do each time we leave the lot here is we're going to do a little test ticket make sure that that is correct and we look at the time and the date make sure it's it and we save this for later okay once we log on to our tracks we can go ahead and log on to our orca so I'm going to go ahead and put my password in there your password is your badge number hit OK you can come over here and tag your orca card over here and when it says OK over here we'll go ahead and push OK and my run number which is nine nine thousand with this one here and hit OK again and it'll want you to select a trip so I'm going to go ahead and select that trip and I see now it's all lit up looks good we're logged on there so I'm going to do an air brake systems check required every time we take a pure strength vehicle off the lot so our first check is an air leak check and what we have to do is we're going to turn the vehicle off turn it back to day run or night run we have it on night run what I'm going to do is I'm going to release my parking brake I'm going to put firm pressure on my service brake and I'm going to hold it for one minute to ensure that I do not lose more than three PSI in that one minute and I will begin Okay, so it's been one minute, and I'm going to ease off my brake here a little bit, let the wheel chalk catch the bus. My parking brake is still released, and now I'm going to do a low air warning check. I'll be fanning off air pressure on my service brake, and I should get a low air warning light or buzzer at 60 PSI or above, and there is my low air warning buzzer, and there's my light air warning light right here okay I'm gonna continue fanning air pressure off and I, my parking brake valve should activate approximately 40 psi and it just activated okay my gauge is about ready to reach 120 and I'm listening now for my air governor to cut out sometimes it helps to open the back door where you can actually hear it a little better I'm going to cut my fast idle so it's a little bit quieter and that was my air governor cutting out at about 125 psi Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take this vehicle now, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my seat and my steering wheel. So the seat, my seat here is a little too far away, so I want to go forward by pushing this lock release button. And we want to get to where a kind of a natural placement on the floor and the pedals. I'm going to read my turn signals. See, it's a little too, a little too high in the front here, so this lever here will push that front down and I'm going to go just a hair higher that feels pretty good at this point I want to adjust my steering wheel too far away at this point so I'm going to pull up on the handle and that's as far as it goes up and yeah, maybe just a little bit further up that looks pretty good we want a nice neutral position on our hand for our hands arms nice and neutral and straight I want to adjust this seat back just a little bit more forward and I think that looks real good. I like that. Okay, now that my seat is adjusted, my steering wheel is in good placement, I'm going to go ahead and adjust all of my mirrors. So I'm going to start with my outside mirror here. And I got way too much bus in that mirror there. So I'm going to a little bit higher, a little bit more out. Maybe just a hair, touch higher there. My spot mirror is too high. I want to go a little bit lower and out to the left that looks pretty good so I like that mirror now I want to go over to my passenger mirror here it's too low I want to be able to see all of my passengers 
keep an eye on what's going on on the coach. That looks really good. I got another mirror here that looks over the mirror that's above the stairwell. That's a little too low and in, so I'll push that out. So that looks pretty good there. I like that. Bike rack mirror. Bike rack right mirror. I want to see a little more of that bike rack. Let me put that right about there. That looks pretty good. Okay, I got one more mirror there on the passenger side, so I'm gonna adjust that. That's a little too much sky there. So that looks about, that looks pretty good right about in there, actually. Spot mirror, I wanna go down just a little and a little bit out, maybe bump it up just a hair. Okay, I like that, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check that my wheelchair ramp will deploy and stow properly. First, I want to kneel the coach. And we're kneel. I'll power up my ramp. And now I'm going to put it deploy. Check, make sure no buses are coming up alongside of us. Hold that. Let it deploy all the way out. And that looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and stow it. Push down for stow. So that it will to stow properly and securely latch. There it is. Now we'll lift power off. And now we're going to raise our coach back up. Flip our switch. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to do an interior check of the coach now. I want to check that my front door and back door work. So that's actually working really well. So I'll go over here. I want to check. Uh, Trash cans empty. I got a wheel block here. I want to take a look at my here, my emergency equipment. Make sure I have eight straps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got that. First aid kit. Tag is on. So that's good. Fire extinguisher. Properly stored and secured. Fully charged. And here we have two extra wheelchair straps there. So that's good. So we know where those are at. Put all this stuff back together. Make sure to push that little pin down. And here we have three reflective triangles. And one, two, three. Okay, that all looks good. Okay. As I'm coming by, I want to check uh, my all my literature is here. So. Operators are actually responsible for getting rid of old stuff, but that all looks good. Up, so that's all current. As I come through the coach, I want to look at my wheelchair securement area. This coach actually has two uh, types of securement. We have the passive restraint, so we want to make sure this works properly. So we pull this handle down, and that works good. So the passenger just pulls up in there. So works good we'll check this one as well push the black lever handle down okay that all works good we also have the regular wheelchair securement shaft so we need to check both of these areas lift up the seat here and lift up the seat here and we got a wheelchair strap there back here we also have Make sure our straps are here. Make sure we know how to operate these. Make sure that's not tangled. Like that. Have our seat belts here and here. And then we also have this one here. So now we can put this one back. We can check this other side here. Make sure it works properly. We've got our strap here. Push that little lever in the back there. Works good there. There's our floor attachment. We'll make sure we're good here. Things kind of twisted up. We don't want them twisted like that. So that looks good. Same there. Seat belt here. Seat belt here. And we also have the seat belt here. So this one here attaches. Good. So that all looks pretty good. As we're going through the coach, we want to make sure that the stanchions are working, are tight, not broken, loose. Check out all of our seats, make sure they're all good. Make sure none of the seats are broken or anything. 
check our chimes as we're going. Got several locations for that. As we're going by the rear door, we want to make sure this opens properly so passengers can exit the door. Looking for debris on the floor. That all looks really good, very clean. As we come up the step here, check for these stanchions. We do have a mirror here. We want to make sure the mirror is tight. The bracket's not loose or missing any parts. And we'll continue out through the back of the coach. Again, looking for anything on the coach that shouldn't be there. Everything's looking pretty good, nice and clean. Um, looks pretty good back here. So as we're going through, we can also check to make sure all of our emergency handles, all the red handles are in the up position. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to do an exterior check of the coach. I'll put the switch on and we'll step out. We're going to check all of our lights, check for body damage. Everything is attached to the coach as it should be. As we step out, we're just going to do a visual of the coach, looking at all of our lights, looking at body damage, make sure our mirror is secure. Got our wipers, arms and blades are secure. Make sure our header sign is working properly, which it is. And we want to check our lights. We've got high beams, we've got four-way flashers, we've got our license plate. Also going to check our bike rack. Locks in the down position. Pull these. That locks. Locks good. Put this back up. Okay. As we're coming around, again, looking at all of our lights, reflectors, everything looks good. Looking for any body damage. If we did find body damage, we would Send that in on a tracks message to Com Center and let them know about that. All of our panels are shut. We're going to pay a particular attention to our tires and rims and lug nuts. We check our tires for damage, rim for any damage to the dents to the flange. All lug nuts are present. Lug nut indicators are all pointed in the correct direction. Check both sides of the axle the same way. All of our windows are shut. Sign, advertisement sign is attached. Have not seen any body damage yet, so that all looks good. All of our lights are working. Again, on our rear axle, same thing. Check our tire, sidewall for any damage, rim damage. Looks all good, no dents to the flange or anything. All of our lug nuts are present. Lug nut indicators all face in the same way. As we come around the coach, again, looking for any damage around the coach. Lights all working properly. All the lights working back here. Got four-way flashers, turn signals, rear sign, destination signs working properly, engine compartment secure, license plate, license plate light, that's all working good. Okay, looks good. Fuel door is shut, all of our panels are shut. Again, looking at all of our windows, make sure they're securely shut. Any body damage looks good so far. Again, tires. Sidewalls, rim, check that, lug nuts, lug nut indicators all present, pointed in the correct direction. Rear door securely shut, looks good. Advertisement sign attached, no body damage here, looks good here. We got our destination sign on the passenger side working as well, looks good. And again, our tires, sidewalls, rim, look at all of our lug nuts, are all present, all lug nuts indicators pointing the correct way and everything looks pretty good so far on this coach. A couple of last checks as we're leaving. Make sure our seat belt is adjusted properly, latches securely, which it does. I like that, a little bit too much play there, so I can adjust here by taking this a little bit out. There we go, I like that. Close our front door, and what we're gonna do first is a check of our rear door interlock. So we open the doors, we're going to put it in gear. And that indicates that we are in gear. I want to open the door. The rear door opens and engages the interlock. So I'm going to release my parking brake. And I ease off the brake here. And try to give it some acceleration. I have a dead pedal. So that means our interlock brake is working properly. So I'll close our door. When I set my parking brake again, we're still in gear. So what I'm gonna do is give it some acceleration. Gently pull against the parking brake, make sure it holds the vehicle, and it does. Parking brake is working properly. One last brake check as we're leaving. I wanna pull forward, and I wanna apply my service brake, and make sure it does not pull to the left or to the right. 
stops the vehicle. So I think we're ready to go.